and this is um, one of my twin sons, Brooks. I'm John, and this is Wade. And they have a big brother also named Louie. So we moved to the area about four years ago, and I was looking for an OBGYN, and I had a friend who recommended um, Dr. Bannister to me, so I was going to him already when we started to plan a family, and we really liked him. We um, really liked the other doctors there, so we just continued um, to go there, and we had our first son there um, two years ago, and then we had the twins there in March. Well, my grandmother had twins, so they, they do run in the family. So when we found out we were having twins, we didn't think twice about where we wanted to have them. We definitely wanted to have them at Spear. Our first experience was so good um, that, in fact, I was like wishing away the weeks towards the end. I think it's 35 or 36 weeks that they'll deliver at Spear, so I was kind of counting down. When I, as I got closer, I was counting down those weeks, hoping that um, I made it that far so that I could deliver at Spear. Um, and luckily I, I did. I, I, they induced me and I was able to deliver there and it was as good if not a better experience than our first one. We didn't think twice about where we wanted to go. We knew for sure that we wanted um, the doctors at Plymouth OBGYN to deliver the twins. I, I think after having Louie, um, we were comfortable with all the doctors and all the nurses and kind of knew what to expect. And um, even though it was twins, it was more of like a team effort. They pretty much informed us step by step, so we knew what to expect. As luck would have it, Kim helped deliver Louie um, when he was born two years ago, and then she just happened to be on the two nights following um, the birth of the twins, and I don't even know how we got so lucky, but it almost doesn't matter because all the nurses are so awesome that all of our experiences were good. But Kim was there those next two nights and it just made us feel like we were at home. It was this familiar feeling. We didn't we weren't nervous about anything. Like I was I had a little bit of trouble recovering and sh and everyone was just there for me and made me feel like it wasn't as hard as it seemed like it could be, especially with like breastfeeding two twins as well, which isn't the easiest thing in the world. I think we liked that, you know, Spears is a small hospital but it was it was an intimate experience. It wasn't like a big hospital where there's, you know, a dozen or more births a day. Um, you know, there's just a couple. So, you know, the nurses are there to help you. The doctors are there to help you. They're accessible. So we really like that. All the nurses, even if I didn't know them prior to my experience, you bond with them through the non-stress test. And then they're just there for you in any way that you need them. In fact, I, I have met people and said in, who are pregnant and asked them where they're having their, their babies, hoping that they're gonna say spear and almost feeling like saying, why not? Why wouldn't you have them at spear? It was such a positive experience for us that I can't imagine why anyone would wanna travel somewhere else and try to get something better because they're not gonna get something better. You're almost, what you get here is what you, I mean, what, everything we could have asked for. Yeah, I think um, if you know, you're looking for you know, small, intimate, um, very professional staff, but friendly um, and approachable staff, Spear. It's a place to have your babies.